This is Sky One, a part of the British Sky Broadcasting Network. Take your cares away, your ever-loving Bruno Brooks! Well, good evening and welcome. Here we are on Sky One. Is everybody in a romantic mood? Yeah. Very good, because this is love. <laughs> First sight. I know we've got a very exciting show coming up. So, first of all, welcome Helen Brumby! <laughs> Yes, I've got to do a favour for one of the guys on the show tonight. What's the favour? I've got to say, hello, Basilio, hello, Simon, love you too. Do you mean it? Yeah, I do, I do. <laughs> you tell me they're really hunky. <laughs> and listen, one of the girls is a beautician, yeah. one's an executive, uh -huh. and one tells me she's a real racy lady. All right, well, here they are, the three ladies. Bring them on, then. Here we go. <laughs> It's a quick impersonation of Kenny Everett times yeah. three. Yeah. All right, who's first? Julia could get the sympathy vote this evening. Oh. 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 Funny. Helen's fella thought she was a stick in the mud. Oh. Oh. And Leslie had a touching experience on the tube. I see. <laughs> Give a nice ripple there you are, the three ladies. OK, girls, that's where your eyes are going to be, right over there, because here come the three fellas. All right. See, the lads are very excited about being on the show this evening. And uh, who do we have first? Our first excited man is Graham, and yes. he's completely idle about his impersonations. Uh -huh. <laughs> Paul was a real wacky racer, and Bill had a very, very hard life. Give him a ripple. Oh. There you are. There are the three fellas. <laughs> Bill, in fact, he did. He had a very, very hard life, didn't he? And uh, hopefully, we're, we're, we're here to sort of cheer you up tonight, Bill. Because I know things have been very bad in your lifetime. <laughs> and, I, and I'm sure we'll get something together for you tonight. All right, Bill? Yeah. All right, mate. OK. Well, let's have a chat to Julia first of all. Julia could get the sympathy vote this evening. Uh, <laughs> yes, a little story which is heart-rendering, isn't it's it, Julia? Terrible. Very bad. Tell us more. I'll tell you more. Um, a couple of weeks before my wedding day, my fiance went away on a business trip abroad for a weekend and comes back and announces that he's married somebody else. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> nice to see you. Okay, fellas, it's your turn now. Let's have a good old chat. Graham is a completely idle impersonator. Now, this surely has to be Billy Idol. Billy Idol, that's I right. I have to say, you look very much like him. Thank you very much, Billy Idol. Thank you very much. Yeah, Give I us a quick impersonation, then, of Billy Idol. Go on. Quick impersonation. All right. On the floors of Tokyo, down to London, times a go-go. With a record selection and the mirror's reflection, I'm a-dancing with my say, help. Oh. Dancing with himself, he might even be singing White Wedding for us later on. <laughs> uh, hello, Paul. Paul was a real wacky racer. Uh, yes, Bruno. Well, I was until I ran out of money. I used to race cars at one time. Um, problem being that uh, I got that short of funds and I ran out of engine as well. I, my brother had the same car as I. So one night, I broke into the garage and stole his engine to do my last race of the season. <laughs> He still doesn't know, so I'm sorry, Ian, but... <laughs> he still doesn't know to this well, day that he's been he running around on your afraid, yeah, but, uh... clapped-out engine. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Well. Hello. Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> Graham, what about you? You would uh, let him pass and then chase him? That's right. I wouldn't risk my life. No, I don't blame you. Yeah. But why would you chase him, then? Or to grab the money so I could make a record. <laughs> <laughs> 
Bill, I mean, you know, with things being so bad in your life, uh, I suppose money has been a little bit down in the dumps for you as well. Things haven't been very good for you, have they, Bill? They haven't, actually, no. No. <laughs> now, let me ask you, uh, Graham, how would you react in this situation? I agree with Helen. Yeah. I'd, you know, mm. I'm sober up. Right. Do you, do you keep good secrets? I mean, are you good at keeping secrets? I'm very secrets? good at keeping secrets, yeah. I'm a very you good? secretive person, yeah. Yeah? Is there any secrets that you could maybe just, you know, reveal one of them tonight on the I show? I don't reveal tonight or get the show closed down. <laughs> <laughs> but with Graham, which of these three girls are you idly in love with? Right, now, you went for Helen. Tell us why. Well... I've got to say, Bruno, I could idolise over Helen all night long. Uh -huh. And it's a nice day for a white wedding. It's a nice day to start a day. Yeah! Yeah! Whoa. Well, will he get his white wedding? Will Helen go for Graham? Is it Paul? Is it Bill? We're going to roll the drum now and find out. And you're taking Rosalind with you. It's a great end to a great show. Thanks for watching. See you That's next right. time on Love at First Sight. Ta -ra! And Love at First Sight will be back at the same time tomorrow. In about half an hour's time at eight, don't forget we've the third and final part of Pearl, marking Japan's raid on Pearl Harbor 50 years ago. But next on your entertainment channel, Sky One, Baby Talk, as Mickey learns an important lesson in humility. Don't go away.